Welcome everybody to episode 31. We will be talking about celebrations and the 90-10 rule as we roll into this holiday season. Um, the information we're gonna learn really applies to any time that you're out of your um, norm so far as your health and eating environment. And uh, what a, a great time to do this. Plus we've, let's just say an out of the norm year as well. We'll just add that to that. So welcome to everybody. Um, tonight we'll be working on adding to your education and empowerment so that you can better take charge of your health. So we're going to start right off with Tammy Bontrager. She has got some great information to share with us. Hey everyone. Okay, so Valerie had asked how I like to use um, any of the products within the Bella Health protocol during the holidays. And I can tell you that I have already started that and I'm using one today. So I have been out shopping all day long along with everyone else in Wichita. And um, I actually mixed up an extra vital this afternoon just because it kind of takes that edge off and the stress off of being out and about with so many people so um anyway that's a great way just to bring that stress level down is just to mix up an extra vital because it really will take um just the edge off um another thing that i plan on doing is i know that i'm probably going to be eating extra dessert and things that i probably shouldn't but really will um, and I will. I know that I will use Cinemate just to help balance out my blood sugars because that really does that for me. Um, I love the Cinemate just because it does give you that energy, but yet really balances out the blood sugar so that I don't crash after I eat, um, especially sugary things. So um, those are a couple products. Um, one other would be the um, Verdezymes, and I love taking that um, just after I've eaten too much because it really does seem to break up um, just the food and help um, get that digested better. So um, those are three ways that I plan to use it this um, holiday. I know we've got all of our kids coming in, which is awesome and I'm so excited for it, but sometimes just having extra people in the house can cause stress. So um, again, vital. So hope that you guys will use a lot of these Bella Health products um, over the holidays because they really are fantastic. Thank you, Tammy, for sharing. And one of my reasons for wanting to take the time to teach this um, class is to let you guys know, again, the value of the products that many of you already have on hand. And with the Bella Health Program, which is the Vital, the Cinemate, the Probi, and the Veritasimes, you already have so much more that you can do with it and be able to use it that way, especially because you've already worked on building that foundation. Okay, so we're gonna start with Soul Vital here. And so with the Soul Vital, Tammy did a fantastic job sharing it. And Soul Vital, and you can see we've got our little gal here. She's putting together our holiday meal. She's got her list of everything to do. She's still trying to clean the house. She's still trying to get gifts. Otherwise, we put a lot of unnecessary pressure on ourselves. And if you're already taking the Vital, you may find that during these time periods of the extra going on, then you may just need a little bit extra and don't hesitate. I mean, for me, I, in fact, one of the things I do regarding the holidays is I always do an extra uh, vital. I just mix it up. I do throw the renew in with it, but that is my go-to, whether I'm traveling to an event at um, having a family reunion, doing holidays, it's just a go-to for me. And one of the reasons it works so well is because it is adaptogen loaded. It is outstanding because of the six different adaptogens we've got in it. And if we remember, adaptogens help us to um, maintain homeostasis or balance. That ideal point in which all our organs and our emotions and our you know, brain, every, every part of the body is going to work at its um, optimally. And adaptogens help support our body doing that. And since this is not a normal way um, we don't tend to run at this type of, you know, high stress and everything's involved with the holidays by throwing those extra, extra adaptogens in, it's going to help your body to compensate for that and then bring yourself back down. No, it's not going to magically make all the tasks get taken care of, but you do find that you can look at and go, I can do this and move on forward. So pretty exciting how that works. So what else? Soul Vital also supports the liver. That comes in importance when you're looking for the holidays because the liver is involved 
with um, processing, you know, all kinds of different things besides we're also adding on that load for the foods and whatever's involved with them. The liver deals with that. And the liver ties in with the gallbladder and working with the fats. Well, a lot of our special holiday foods do have the extra fats in it. Liver also, when the liver gets overwhelmed, can tie into um, helping us be more prone to anger. And that's the last thing we want to bring into a holiday uh, event or family gathering. So having that extra support to help keep the liver be less burdened and be able to keep up with the load is definitely going to work in, out in your favor. In fact, your family will thank you. And again, the chlorophyll, we talked about this in depth last week, and you know that the chlorophyll is going to help with supporting the blood and helping the kidneys also to filter out and work with, um, again, all the extra stuff that's coming in between sugars, you know, some points will be alcohol, just depending on what your type of gathering has, and even just the overwhelm for the system that can come when we deal with, uh, with stress and, and, and everything that goes with a uh, fast paced or high paced day. The chlorophyll also adds in that liver support to help the body to process it. So, so vital is a go-to. It is something that I never leave home without. In fact, when I doubt, I grab extra packets because I don't want to get in a position and be digging in my purse and find out that's the one time I don't have what I need. So inevitably with the holidays, um, whether it's Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, um, any grand event or feast, it could be a, a wedding. I mean, there's all kinds of different situations where we can have heavier than normal foods, more variety of foods, and often choices that we wouldn't have put in on our plate. Well, one of the things that people often talk about is how they eat more than they should, and they feel bloated or the food just doesn't process and they end up with indigestion. Well, your vertizymes, it is never an issue to take extra of that. So if you feel like, you know, and I have seen clients where they eat um, something they shouldn't. In particular, I see it with grains and literally you can just watch as their stomach blows up and they look like they're five or six months pregnant all of a sudden. That various times is very good at supporting the digestive tract for helping it to process the extra food and the, the varieties of food types that are in there. Remember, we have a variety of blend uh, enzymes that are in this blend along with plants that help to calm the system. A system that's being burdened by trying to digest something becomes a stressed system. So the adaptogens and the calming uh, plants that are in there um, are going to help soothe the area. Remember, any of your blue uh, labels have to do with the calming category. Think of a nervous stomach as well, that I've seen Vera Designs work outstanding for this. And by nervous stomach, it could be, um, maybe you uh, haven't been around someone in a while and you're a little uncomfortable or meeting new members of the family. I mean, maybe it's because, you know, you know I mean, there's all kinds of things. Maybe there's things that, that you've had an event and people you're trying to avoid talking about. It doesn't really matter. A stomach that gets nervous just from being around people. I have seen Vera Designs work outstanding for that stomach that just feels off and out of balance and just helps so much. So again, another thing to think of when you're dealing and working with the holidays. And finally, we often find when people can't break down their food or maybe they're traveled and sleeping in a place that's unfamiliar. So not only do they have unfamiliar food, maybe they have uh, people they're not used to being around all the time and then they're sleeping in, an, in a different place. Fair Designs, don't forget, is great and beneficial and helpful for breaking down that food if you take it right before bed or within 30 minutes before bed, helping with sleeping and helping calm that stomach and quiet the mind. The uh, valerian root that is in there is outstanding um, also for helping to calm. It's also naturally high in calcium. And then we have ProBio IQ. So often when the body gets hit with all these different foods, and stressors, it impacts the body's ability to digest things. And part of it can be because we don't have the right bacteria that's in there. So having that different types of bacteria can also help with breaking down the food. It's also going to help your immune system. Because remember, a big portion of your immune system is actually in your gut. And if the gut is having to focus on breaking down food and, and different types of food that it's not used to, 
it may um, lower the resistance of the immune system. So you're giving added support by taking that probiotic. Plus I've also seen people that take, can take the ProBioIQ hourly and get over something extremely quickly. And then finally, memory support. We've all been in those moments where different food choices have left us with foggy thinking. And again, holidays are not normal uh, types of food that we're, we usually have on our table, which is good because it, it allows us to enjoy it periodically and there's not a problem with that. And if we eat that way all the time, then we have an issue. But when the body's being having this thrown at it, it can often be challenged with thinking ability and memory. And rather than calling, you know, Uncle Ed, Uncle Frank, it might be a good thing <laughs> to have your mobile so that you can address people by their proper name. And of course, I don't know how it's going to show up, but that's something I would probably end up doing. So another thing that people know that comes with the holidays and is sugar. And there's a lot of us who do not keep sugar in our diet at all on a regular basis. And we're very aware of it when it is in our diet. And so it's about being able to support the body when you do ingest it so it doesn't throw it for a loop. So one of the things that sugar does is it's very acidic forming. So when you eat it, it can cause acidity in the body. Well, acidity helps for um, our quote unquote bad bacteria or our viruses or, or inflammation to occur. Well, one of the ways to challenge that, not only to challenge acidity is with the vital, because remember that chlorophyll is very alkalizing, but by upping our good gut bacteria with a probio IQ. And that makes it very good for supporting that bacteria because the sugar is gonna make that population of the quote unquote bad bacteria take off. And then it just causes a whole domino effect of stress in the body. So this is one good way to counteract that. Cinemate is outstanding for sugar cravings. If you're the type of person that knows that once you have some sugar, that you're not going to be able to get enough of it, it just takes off like a roller coaster, then having a hot cinemate may be either uh, in your hand when you walk in the door and in uh, like a mug that you can sip on throughout the evening so that you don't need as much sugar is a, you know, cinemate can work out standing for that. Plus remember, cinemate also support your blood sugar so it keeps it more balanced. Sugar can send the blood sugar soaring high and then it plummets, which can cause some grogginess, you know, literally almost passing out, inabilities to think, disorientation. Um, there's so many different things that um, can show up when that blood sugar gets out of balance. And cinemate is extremely effective at helping to support blood sugar and help keeping it in the uh, range that is more healthy. So as far as healthy holiday tips, um, there's a couple different things that we can do. One would be don't skip a meal before you go. Whether you um, have a nice big complete, as in our good plant-based uh, protein, before you go, that is a great way to already have yourself balanced. You don't want to walk into there uh, starving because you will not make as good of health choices. And one of the reasons I say this is because so many people, when they find themselves in this position, they become aware of it after they've started making a change in their lifestyle. And they don't want to undo what, you know, all the changes that they've made. And so they, they get concerned. So th we're giving tips here to help uh, navigate this more effectively. Drink mostly water when you're there. In, unless you've got one of your drinks with you, um, drinking mostly water helps. It's not going to fool the body into getting empty calories. And so that is helpful. It's also going to be helpful for helping to process and get the inflammation out from any foods that are not normally in your diet. Don't overstress it. Otherwise, don't, um, don't get too worried about having everything be perfect. Because when we get worried is when, and we tend to, we'll see people emotionally eat, do things that they shouldn't do. And this can be so helpful to think this direction. Bringing a healthy food option to your gathering. You know, you bring this little snowman. You can make certain that there's something there that is safe for you to eat. I've been doing this for, this for years, and it helps me to know that no matter what, I've got something right there that's not going to cause an inflammatory response that I can do a big portion of and get uh, pretty full and then use the other things to just enjoy a little bit. And remember that 90-10 rule. 
it is what you're doing 90% of the time that's going to make the difference. That 10% of the time, it is okay to enjoy some of these things. So long as you're not that type of person that's going to cause, you know, major, um, you know, inflammatory, deadly, scary type response. We're not talking about eating something that you're highly allergic to. What we're talking about is helping the body to navigate with everything, you know, moderation, but 90, 10. I, I always made a point when the kids were growing up to periodically bring home a sweet or we'd make a, a, a treat or something. I wanted them to know it was okay to have that stuff every once in a while, so long as the main part of the time they were eating healthy. And I still remember in our little town here going to the uh, grocery store probably 10 years ago and the gal, the checkout gal, she said, would you please pull some candy bars off or something and put it on the on, on here for me to check you out on? And I said, why? She goes, because you just, I always feel so bad when you come through because everything's healthy on there. So it's interesting how people were always watching what I was doing. And so it's, a, it's important for people to know that it's, that it's okay to not do it perfectly. And most importantly, bring a soul stash with you. Again, I have all my um, oil blends with me in my purse. I always have Cinemate and Vital Renew with me. Um, I have options with me all the time. I try and carry my probiotic. I've got the uh, Veritasimes. I've got some adaptable. I make certain I have stuff with me so I'm never stuck or put in a situation that is challenging and hard to get out of. So I want to talk about what you already have or might also have in your soul treasure chest. There's so many different things, again, that have multiple uses that you can apply in for the holidays. For instance, your soul clear SI. If you happen to be around a family member and you find out that they were sick not that long ago, or you feel like you get sick easily when you're around people, then having that Soul Clear SI, whether you make a tea out of it, uh, carry it with you. I know it wasn't too long ago that I noticed my ears felt really stuffed up and heavy. And when I was a kid, I got ear infections all the time. So I took um, quite a few of the Soul Clear SI. In fact, I believe I took like, I mean, it was weighted. I felt like I had five pound weights in each of my ears. I woke up this way. I took um, four of them and then I took um, four the following hour. And then I also took the confidence blend and just rolled a little bit right at my temples and my ears drained almost immediately. It hasn't been back since. So it's so nice to know what you've got that can work. I also know people take that, make it into a tea to help challenge a cough or a cold. They also do the same type of thing with the NeuroIM. NeuroIM, we've seen it help people, again, with blood sugar. We're going to see it help people with coughs. So again, these are things to travel with or know what is in your soul naturals treasure chest that you can grab for should you feel any challenges. The Renew, you heard me talk about how I mix mine with a vital every time I have a holiday situation, a gathering situation, any type of event because I know my system work, you know, because of the stress response it can have, the Renew supports those adrenals. I'm mixing it with the vial, which has got all the extra, the nice load of adaptogens. We've got the uh, chlorophyll in there and it just works like a charm for me. The comfort blend. Comfort is very, very good at helping to support the immune system. Of course, all our essential oil blends are, but has, Comfort has a lot of the uh, antiviral properties with the cinnamon in there that are nice and strong. So Comfort, we also think of the confidence, that's the one I was using uh, in front of my ears around the temple area, a little, be little below the temples, help drain the ears for me. It also helps with thinking that courage. Let's remember, holiday time can be challenging for a lot of people who might have lost a loved one this time period, or this is the first holiday time period they've gone through without that loved one. Having the courage in your treasure chest to just grab to, to put over the heart area or maybe offer to them someone to use um, can help a lot of people out. Same with the comfort. I've seen people use both of those. Uh, contentment. When you have some of that indigestion, maybe you did, forgot to bring your fair designs, don't forget the contentment can be rolled over the belly to help soothe and calm it as well. Power Chi, a lot of people are very aware um, that <laughs> they're going to be eating some different foods. It might challenge the metabolism a little bit. So some of these people, um, we're going to want to make certain that they've got their taking a Power Chi in that morning. 
uh, to help uh, counter that or help to make certain that they don't um, slow down that metabolism too much. It also has got the red beetroot in it, which is very good for blood sugar as well. The complete, we talked about how several people use that um, before they'll go to a get together or they're using it to help support the gut because of how healing it can be and help to protect it from a lot of the food choices that we might've made that weren't so great. And then of course the Live Clarify Calm and Balance, all those mixed together, diffusing, uh, Jennifer calls that her um, everything blend. It works great. I always, always, always diffuse this. I will be diffusing this when the grandchildren are around here in, uh, on Christmas Eve because of all that excitement and everything. And it's just helping support us and help protect us with antivirals, but it's also helping everyone have a good time without the, you know, all that excitement and everything that can sometimes be draining and adaptable. Never leave home without your adaptable. If you're a person that gets overwhelmed really easy or stress, this is another thing that you might just keep your own little soul um, interaction emergency kit that you carry with you at all times. So now uh, Sean is going to share with us a little bit of how she uses soul. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hey, Valerie, thanks again for asking me um, for a testimony. Stress in the holidays. Um, that, can be, that can be a big one um, for somebody that um, doesn't process stress quite like a normal person, and, and I, I know this about myself. So for me, Every day, I always have vital cinemate. That's been since day one. So eight years, going on nine years, whatever. Those are two that I always do, and that that balances the blood sugar, the gut, hormones, energy, everything. It's everything. The other thing is I do complete every day. So I know if I'm going to be out, especially doing errands during the holiday time now, because. I did do some shopping. I did a lot online, but I did go out and buy some stuff. It's a little more stressful this year, as we all know. So I did my gator because I don't do a mask because I can't breathe in them. But I do my gator and I go in and I get things done and I don't really meander like I used to. So, but in order to balance the stress of that and not feeling anxious going in, I do rely on soul. It's a lifestyle for me. So every morning when I arise, I take two adaptable. And then when I get up and going, I get my complete in. And of course in that I mix in my fiber and I actually put my XL in there. I like it in either the Dutch cocoa or the, the natural. I like it because it just brings out the flavor in whatever I'm doing. But that sets everything for the day because stress affects the gut for me in a big way. So those are things that I always do and always probiotics. I do more than the average and I do increase that during stressful times or during the holidays because we do eat at families. So I know that I'm going to need more probiotics. I do anywhere from four to six a day, sometimes eight. If I eat a little sugar, I'm going to need more. That's just how I am because I don't process sugar very well. But I do want a little treat on occasion because I'm human. So I do increase that and renew every night. And that helps me sleep because you need that restful, restorative sleep to get up and go the next day. And vertizymes. Vertizymes is a huge one. And I'm relying more on those right now than I used to even. I've always done them. And it did heal a lot of gut and actually ulcers up and down the esophagus. I had some pretty brutal gut issues when I started this journey that I battled for years, including a small hiatal hernia. So I'm not having that very much now. But when I'm stressed, I do notice that I'll get esophagus spasms and it's, it feels like you're having a heart attack. It's incredibly painful. But I'll do two vertizymes in the morning and then during the day, I'm, I'm pretty good. I go all day. And then for dinner, I'm finding that I'm popping two more and still my three at bedtime. So that's more than the average person. And that works for me. And so those are some main things. So, you know, during, during the holidays, things are just more stressful. 
And these are things that I do every day, but I will increase those during the stressful times like the holiday season. And this year is more stressful than it has been. And I did use a few more adaptables and things because we did have company for about 10 days in the house. And it's a small house, one bathroom. And as much as I love having them, it's still stressful. It's doing a lot of extra things. It's a lot of extra laundry and just being grandma because that's that's what brings me joy is just being with them. So even though it's good joy and it's good stress, it's still stress. So soul is my lifestyle. It's what I need. And that's how I literally get by. Whether it's holiday or not, stress is stress. And soul delivers every time. I wish you all a Merry Christmas. I didn't mean to go on this long, but Merry Christmas and love to you all. So Shauna did a great job with that and uh, really nailed a lot of these on the head. And now I've asked Greg to share a little bit about um, for what some of his go-to formulas are from for soul. Oh man. Just listening to everybody, I have so many of the same go-tos. We must, we must tune into the same educational Zoom. That's all I have to say. Yes. Um, <laughs> so I have to share, I, I put it in the chat. Because Valerie's talking about the 90-10 rule. See, I was told this about men. 90% genius and 10% fools. And unfortunately, the 10% controls us. Someone told me that. <laughs> and I went, Really? Are we that bad? <laughs> it was, I'm not making that up. So, yes, I think sometimes the holidays can get us that way. We flip flop the night <laughs> somehow. And I'm no different than you are. Some, some years I do better than others. But um, I, I wanted to just mention a couple of them, okay? Um, so, <laughs> you guys are so nice. So, this, the Soul Complete that Shauna does, it's one for me uh, at any time, especially holiday, it makes a big difference, which is just, I do, um, doesn't matter which, whichever we have, natural or Dutch cocoa, and I just add a packet of Excel. And that one in itself for me is a big difference maker in terms of what food I feel like and just calming gut down and stress, you know, just in stress in general, the stress gut, if you get the stress gut, which I admit I do. So that one's a go-to for me. Here's a recent one for me, and maybe it'll be helpful to somebody this year. Infatuate, if you're where, because with Soul Complete, you know, you're gonna drink more. It's a bigger, more filling thing, maybe even replacing a meal or whatever, or a mid-morning or a mid-afternoon instead of other snacks. Um, if you're not wanting to do that, one thing that has been a great go-to, and I plan on doing it this year, I did, I started doing it last year. I just do the little four ounces of water, this much water in the little shaker and two scoops of infatuate, one ice cube. So one ice cube, four ounces, tiny amount of water, two full scoops of infatuate. Just let the ice stir it up and it gets it kind of cool, but not too cold or anything. I love that one. It does a lot of the um, little, if you're feeling a little peckish, you know, goes away and gut good things for my gut and it's another good maybe that will be a helpful little tool for someone through the holidays i love all these go-to's because i just try to soak them in and my strategy now is just be more mindful mindful of how i'm feeling because like, there's so many good ideas I mean, that list valerie had there i'm sitting here thinking of the ones i've tried like that and ones that i haven't yet um but i think if we're mindful how we feeling and addressing that thing before we do the other stuff, which is, you know, I want to try some of the treats. I mean, people took time to make them. They make them by scratch, you know, and yeah, I do end up eating more sugar than normally. I always eat some, but I, I don't eat very much just because, not because I'm all that great or I have this great self-control. It really isn't that. It's a blood sugar thing that over time, I just make sure I'm eating a lot of the other stuff, the soul drinks, and I, that's the amount that feels good and I've learned over time I'll, I'll keep feeling good if I just a little bit here and there but I don't cut it out altogether to where the crave builds up that's just me okay so for me it's maintaining a little 
and, and just keeping that part. And in the holidays, I, I do ramp it up a little because, because I'm in, in, in occasions. So I'm kind of like Ashley with the, I noticed she shared with her cinnamon rolls with extra cream cheese frost. <laughs> she just had it with a side of bear designs. <laughs> you know, that was how she put it. And, and so the stuff that Valerie was saying, those are my other go-tos are just not being afraid to do extra. Instead of thinking, okay, I'm taking this today. I'm going to do it at night. I'm going to do it here. I don't think of it that way during the holidays. I think of with the probiotic and the Verdezymes sort of as needed and, or better put as wanted. And whenever I want them, I take them. So yeah, I'm going to use more. And I just know it. I just know it during this week. I'll just use more Verdezymes. I get a lot of lectures from Dr. Allison for that. You know, Greg, Greg, you do it. Don't do that. You know, like she doesn't expect anyone to be perfect. But I mean, she's like, it doesn't like, it's not like it X's it out and zeros it out. You can't just say, you know, I do, the, I do the cinnamon rolls and then I drink my mug of cinnamate and I'm good. Because I kind of am. But I'm not supposed to say that because long term, you know. So, but I just, I give myself a break in the holidays and I do more of that. I, I do more of the as wanted and I'll, yeah, I do wrap up like Val said, some of the other things. But I just try not to go too far. And, and usually I'm pretty good at that. Once in a while, yeah, I might go a little, bit, a little bit too far with the sweets or something. But usually just being mindful. The other thing that I was going to share, and I haven't really shared, I realize not anything new from what's been said. That makes me happy because I, um, I, I think we're kind of all on the same wavelength there. We've got the tools. We've got great education that we've, we've all received, and we know how to use it. And, and we can navigate our holidays better. I will say that. I'll add my own experience to those who have shared. I do navigate them better than I ever have, thanks to these wonderful products and the education that I've got from different people. It helps me be more mindful. With that in mind, I want to share something. I think I might have shared this already, but it really works for the holidays. And honestly, I didn't prepare this because I think I'm any kind of authority to share it to somebody else. I actually prepared it for myself, trying to kind of settle this in my mind so that I'll be mindful of it because it's good holiday advice. It was my, it was my COVID advice for me, okay, to be perfectly honest. And it's five things, you know, the five fingers on my hand, that's how I remember it, five things I want to do. So these are five things I want to do this week, okay? Maybe they'll be helpful to somebody. Um, one of them is eat, eat more dense. So I think we all know on this um, Zoom what that means. So when I'm making food choices, I'm going to choose, it's not that I'm not eating some of the other, but I'm going to make sure I'm choosing some really good dense nutrients. And I do know that Bella Health, I mean, Cinemate and Vital are super dense in the good stuff. So I might be doing double Bellas, you know, during the week. I might be doing that. I, I do like right now a morning, so try, again, if, if it's helpful to somebody, try some morning if you don't already, the first thing when you get up, right when you wake up go over mix a vital drink it very first before you do anything. Um, try that sometime. It, it's such a good thing to sort of like enliven, wake up and everything. And then I do an afternoon vital. So that's sort of the double Bella, I guess. And Cinemate, I have one sometime in the morning and have one sometime afternoon or evening. I can do it evening, no problem. So you have to know how they are for you. Um, but so it's just eating dense, making sure I eat plenty of the dense. Um, if it's talking about table, you know, we all know that which foods, raw foods and other things are more dense in nutrients. So that, that's one thing I decided. I'm going to do this. It's something I can control with this whole thing. Um, and, and holidays, I think it's the same thing. So one is eating more dense. Second is eating more varied of the good, just more variety of the good. And I think that goes for like tabletop me, uh, meal. I have things, I don't know how many of you are like me. I really am a go-to meal person. I'm a comfort eater. Once I have things I know work with me and are good, I go there often. And, and so in that, I'm not super hard to please in terms of dinners and whatever during the week. Donna tries to get me to, hey, do you want to try this or that? And sure, I will, but I don't need it. Okay, but that's not always the best habit either. I mean, eating, getting a lot of variety and good, right? So I decided, okay, that's going to be a thing for me. I'm going to try to eat more varied of the good. Um, Third thing for me is pay attention to stress and take care of it more, uh, a little more uh, mindfully. So that's back to adaptable, neuro IM, whatever the thing is right now you really are responding to, whether it's drinking an extra vital, which, which works that way for me, or whatever it is, 
Um, I was telling Valerie, one thing that's been really good for me is 3 Neuro IM with 2 um, Power G in the morning, in the AM. I, I just started doing that recently and I really just like how I feel. So whatever it is, you know, that's my third point is just really being extra, extra good on managing the stress nutritionally. And the fourth and fifth things are easier said than done, but they're still things. Just be a little more active. This time of year, I'm, I always get a lot less active because I can't just go ride a bike up in the mountains. It snowed here, you know, a couple days ago and whatever. But just, so it doesn't matter what the active is, something, you know, floor, floor exercise, yoga, things that, these are all different things that I can find elements that I like in them. Just make sure I do that every day. It makes a huge difference. When I go a few days and then let myself try the extra cream cheese, <laughs> you know, that's when things get me. So that's my fourth one. And then my fifth one is just sleep, sleep more, more than I, more than I am. I don't care how much I am, just a little more. Um, if I could now another easier said than done, right? It doesn't, they don't go away the chores and the, and the holiday duties, but grabbing that extra nap, even if I don't totally deep sleep. So those are my five things. Eat dense, more varied, um, taking care of the stress part enough, enough to manage the stress that, which can also mean balancing how many situations I put myself in. That, that's part of it too, not just the nutrition and then the sleep and the, and the activity. Um, Again, I, they're kind of basic, I know, but I don't know. I wrote them out for me to, to work on them this season, too. Those are great, Greg. Thank you. And uh, you're right. Uh, the exiting it out is, like I tell people, it doesn't exit out, but it does help your body to process and move forward and through what you've just thrown at it. <laughs> so Micah had a, a little bit that she was sharing with us. Good evening, Soul Friends. I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about how I use Soul Naturals um, to help me battle stress during the holidays. So um, my number one go-to is definitely Vital. Um, I use Vital twice a day. I usually take it in the morning and in the evening. And then my second favorite right now is uh, the Soul Complete and the Infatuate. I drink that in the morning. Um, I usually add one to two scoops of the Infatuate, just kind of depending on how I feel. Uh, in the morning in place of my breakfast. Um, so I just really love these products because um, they definitely help me uh, calm down and be able to take things as they come to me instead of feeling like I'm overflowing with um, stress and emotion all the time. So um, I hope everyone has a wonderful holiday and a Merry Christmas. Bye. And I love how... Um Michael uses the infatuate and the infatuate is something else that I tell people. Um, I will often do an extra uh, cinematic with infatuate because not only is it balancing the blood sugar, but it's also one of the things that I like tends to be a rich food with like with the creams or things like that. And if I've got the infatuate, then it's easier to just have small amounts of that. So basically what we've talked about is the when you're taking the four products that are in the Bella Health package on a daily basis, you are building that foundation and you're building up resistance. You're building up the body's ability to fluctuate and adapt and, and deal with what's thrown at it. But you can also take those products extra times during the day as you need them for whatever you're dealing with and help you navigate the holidays better. And then remember, don't be afraid to grab what you've got in your treasure chest that might just be waiting there for you to to um, remember, use, and uh, and it is. It's like having a treasure chest right there with you. So don't hesitate to use that. So Hippocrates has a fantastic quote that a lot of people are familiar with, and it really kind of goes right along with the reason that I do these classes. I tell you that I do it because I love to empower people. Hippocrates nails it here. The greatest medicine of all is teaching people how not to need it. Notice we're not saying don't use it. We're saying be proactive, helping your body be strong enough and be able to do what it is designed to do. So if you do need to have to reach out and use medicine, you're going to respond, but you're not doing it because you're having to do it on a daily basis. Is there, if there's an unusual set of circumstances. Next week, we are going to talk specifically about adaptogens and the long-term benefits from using them consistently. And I'm really, really excited about this because to me, it's going to launch the whole platform that I'm going to be going into 
um, it, like the spring with uh, my classes and helping people understand why when you use these on a daily basis, your results get bigger and bigger and more and more impactful. So something I'm very excited about with sharing. So hopefully you will join us.